A slow, delicate search for three missing snowmobilers is now over. The men got lost north of Idaho City Friday evening while exploring the area near Moores Creek Summit. Rescue crews spent hours getting them out alive. On your side's Chris Oswald was the only reporter at the scene all night. He's in studio with more on this nearly 24-hour rescue. The three men got separated after one of the snow machines broke down. Two who got stuck together got what rescuers call a lucky break and were able to get cell service and call 911 for help. Four snow machines and dozens of rescuers spent the overnight hours of a frigid Friday in search mode, 15 miles north of Idaho City, working to rescue three stranded snowmobilers. Their snow machines had broke down and uh, two of them had stopped, built a fire. Uh, stayed by that. One had uh, moved on, went down into a canyon, got his vehicle stuck. The rescue efforts proved successful. Within hours of the call for help coming in, two of the men were off the mountain safe and sound. One of them, 29 year old Ryan Kahn of Middleton, was able to walk away on his own. How are you doing? Good. The other man, 32-year-old Mike Rivers of Eagle, was brought down in the snowcat and required medical attention. Idaho Mountain Rescue says the two were able to use supplies they had on hand to start a fire to stay warm. With two off the mountain, crews kept going. There was still one person who needed to be rescued. It wasn't until 11 o'clock Saturday morning when crews got 46-year-old Sean Thornton of Boise off the mountain. I'd say they're very lucky that uh, was this uh, operation their mission for us didn't go on a lot longer, which means they'd been out there hours, if not days. From beginning to end, rescuers spent 18 hours working to get the men to safety, ultimately achieving the outcome all desired. It uh, actually went smoothly. They did have some phone contact early on. Uh, we knew where they were. Uh, it was just a matter of getting to them. Rescuers say the three men are doing well. The third victim, Mike Rivers, suffered from hypothermia and had to be airlifted to the hospital. He is expected to be okay. In the studio, Chris Oswald, Idaho on your side.